want to know the easiest way for you to start selling and making money online, including places like Facebook Marketplace, well, I'm going to share with you the best way to do it right now. Hey, Jason here. If you've been watching the channel, you've been seeing me go through Johannesburg, show you how beautiful it is here in South Africa, how the stuff that we're seeing in the Western media, especially if you're coming from America, it is not what they're showing us there at all. And I'm going to be showing you a lot more of the southern region of Africa in the next few months. And most importantly, you've been seeing me talk about success, what it is, how to get it in the three areas of life that I focus on, which are happiness, health, and wealth. And if you're new to the channel, the definition of success by Earl Nightingale is the progressive realization of a worthy idea. And being able to sell stuff and make money, that's a very worthy idea. So let's go ahead and dig into it. And how can you start maximizing your way to make money? So the best way that you're going to be able to make money online by selling is by building customer rapport. And what I mean by that is people need to start like, knowing, and trusting you. Now, that sounds very easy, but you have to realize in the world that we live now, live in now and that we're transitioning into is this digital world where we can actually, we don't need a, a storefront anymore. We can literally post stuff on the internet using our own page or using the selling platforms that are built into things such as Facebook and their marketplace. And we can actually make a very good income off that. I've known people who made well over six figures just selling on Facebook marketplace. But it wasn't easy and it wasn't overnight. <clears throat> and the way they were able to reach such high amounts is because they had customer retention by building customer rapport. And what that means is it's just the like, know, and trust. But what more about it is it means you've actually solved a problem that that person was looking for. So that's the whole point of selling. You're solving a problem that that person is looking for. And I wanted to give you this an example because like, I just had a very, very good marketplace sale today. I uh, mean, I just went and bought something. I don't sell on Facebook Marketplace, but I just had a very good uh, good interaction with the uh, with the brother, and I want to buy more stuff from him before I leave. I'm actually, you know, I kept his number. We uh, got in contact. Uh, everything he did was actually smooth. Uh, you know, like he. So we've been talking over the past two days on Marketplace to schedule a time to meet up and everything like that. So uh, we were going to meet up uh, yesterday. However, something with his job came up. So he's like, hey, you know, I got this event going on. Is it okay if we do it later in the evening or maybe another day? And I told him, I was like, hey, man, I'll be honest with you. I'm not really into buying and exchanging cash like that for product uh, around the closer you get to night. So let's go for the next day and let's do it around 11 a.m. if that's okay with you. And he said, okay, I'll let you know and I'll confirm with you tonight. Did you catch that? He said he will confirm with me tonight. Now, a lot of people may say like, oh, okay, I'll get back to you, but they don't. When you do not confirm something to reassure, to let the person know like, hey, here's the appointment time we set up. This is the place. Just want to make sure it's still good for you. People start to feel like they may be getting scammed. People start to become afraid. It's okay. That's a natural human interaction. Anything that we do not know uh, for sure, fear comes in place first. Now, as a seller, this is your job to manage the fear. This is all you're doing to get you, to actually complete your sale. From the listing to someone uh, actually responding and asking for it, and to you actually getting rid of the product and getting cash in hand, it's all about you solving their problem. You have to make them feel safe, make them feel secure that they're going to get the product that they have. And so because he done it, and then we uh, text this morning, and then we was like, hey, just wanted to make sure... You get that? It was a second confirmation. Like these things are very crucial. I'm going to tell you right now, like so many people have missed sales where they could have earned money from it because they're not doing these confirmations. And like, like uh, I'll give you an example. Yes, I'm looking for a phone gimbal also. So while I'm in Botswana and the rest of the regions that I'm traveling to, I can do a little bit better uh, footage with either my action camera or even with my phone to keep it a little bit more steady. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I found place of the, tons of people that are selling the gimbals. <coughs> Excuse me, man. So I found I found tons of people that are selling the gimbals. They're at a great price. I don't bother the, the price point doesn't bother me. However, their execution on getting the sale accomplished is what the problem is. And what a lot of them are doing, they're not setting up the confirmation. They're not confirming the uh, time we're supposed to meet. Or they're not showing up in the place we say meet, then they want to change the, the area. That 
does not work online. You cannot do those things. And the reason why I'm sharing this is because so many people are always like, oh, I want to learn how to sell. I want to be able to sell more stuff. I have this stuff I want to sell. You have to learn how to manage people's fears. You have to be on time. You have to be punctual. If you're starting to sell stuff on Facebook Marketplace, you're becoming the first stage of entrepreneurship. And as an entrepreneur, the biggest thing you must do is discipline yourself. This is something that no one taught me when I first got into the game. Uh, you know, I'm be honest with you. I thought I could just, hey, you know, you just put something on the internet and people just uh, buy it from you. No problem. That is a problem. Like the problem is that people must be managed. Like you have to re, you might have to reassure them. You have to confirm with them. Like there's so many steps to selling. Like to actually sell to a person, it's almost like 27 times that you have to hit them in a different. Uh, in some form or another. And when you're selling straight on the marketplace, you only have about two to three times to, of interaction with them before you turn them off. So like there's a big difference with a Facebook marketplace type selling and if you're doing online platform type selling, like online platform type selling, information, 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 information. Hey, if you're ready to buy, here you go. Facebook marketplace type selling, hey, I wanna buy this. Okay, let's confirm a time. Here's a location that's public, it's safe for both of us. And, you know, then you got to reconfirm with them. Like, it's just a different set of processes. Uh, processes. It's just a different process, different uh, set of steps. And so, if you're new to selling online, give yourself a guideline. Also, make out a calendar. And what I mean by make out a calendar, like, you can put it in your phone, you can write it down if you're, you're more of a visual person. But write down the times and the places you're supposed to meet someone, where you're supposed to meet them at, and don't stack your day. And also, don't stack how many people you're potentially selling to. Like, uh, one gimbal that I was going to buy, the guy never showed up, didn't call, nothing. Then turn around, 30 minutes later, he posted it as sold. Like, you got to be cautious of that, guys. Like, if you tell someone, like, hey, okay, I'm confirming for you, it's going to be yours. You got to follow through with that because even if you post something else, like per, like that person with me, let's say if they post another phone gimbal, a gimbal that I could use, I'm not going to hit them up. They've showed they're not trustworthy. I don't like the way they do business. I don't know them. And so I don't have any type of trust in them and I have no reason to even try to build trust in them. And so like they've literally lost me as a potential customer for the rest of their life. Like, this is how big these things are. Like, when you're going into the marketplace of the internet, you have to be on your P's and Q's. Like, you have to be disciplined as a business owner. Because no matter how small of an item you're selling, even if it's an item for 10 rand, you need to approach it as if you're still a million dollar business. How would you treat a customer if you owned a million dollar business? Like, once you start looking at it that way, you'll start seeing your sales actually boost up because people are going to recommend people to you. Like for this guy, and what I went and bought was a Nintendo Switch game, by the way. I went and bought a Nintendo Switch game because it was cheaper It was uh, cheaper than what I could buy from the store new. However, he's a gamer, so we, we actually had a conversation, and he's actually able to build Nintendo Switches where he can download the games in there. And so he's probably going to be getting a lot more business from Well, he's not probably. He is going to be getting more business from me. And it's quite simple because I'm going to actually recommend people from them to them too because I know a couple of people that are looking for Nintendo Switches. And you know what I mean? Like, he didn't know that I would recommend people to him. And, like, that's the key. Most people who are going to bring you more business, you're not going to know they're going to do that. It's the way that you make them feel after you've done service with them. And then they're going to be like, yo, man, I really feel like a good person. I felt safe. I felt like everything was on the up and up. I didn't feel like anything was stolen or I'm buying high goods. So because of all of that, I have no problem recommending other people to them. And so just think about that if you're starting to sell on Facebook Marketplace or if you're thinking about even uh, getting started in the near future. Like, just make sure you discipline yourself. Be honest about what you're selling. Be committed to whatever, you, uh, whatever person you say you're going to make a deal with. And also, don't show up late. Like, don't show up late. And what I mean by late, like 30, 40 minutes, like everyone understands traffic, things can happen. Like here in Johannesburg with low shit and how bad it is, like some things are understandable. 
However, not showing up for 30, 40 minutes, not showing up for an hour, not responding back when someone's texting you. And then after maybe an hour, two hours, you're like, oh, just call me here. That doesn't work. You have to be more disciplined than that if you're going to start becoming and taking the first steps of an entrepreneur. And so if you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button. If you're selling on Facebook Marketplace, leave, your, um, uh, hit, leave a comment down below and let people know what type of products are you selling. Like, so that way uh, people can know, like, hey, let me go look for this. You never know who's looking for something out here. That, whole, that old saying of one man's trash is another man's treasure is so true. And if you don't let people know what you're selling, they're never going to be able to buy it. So make sure you leave in the comments. If you're uh, in Johannesburg and you're selling on Facebook Marketplace, let people know down below what you're actually selling. And then they can come look for you. And then on top of that, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you do so. And hit the bell so you can be notified when I do videos like this on a daily basis. And let me know too, do you like this setup with the action camera or do you like it, prefer it better when I shoot it with my phone? Um, I think the video is a little bit clearer and crisper on the action camera, but let me know how it looks on your end. And most importantly, just remember this, I'm Jason and success is simple once you know how.